DeSoto High School, outside of Dallas, Texas, one of the top sprint teams in the country. After a heartbreaking 2015 season, there's only one goal, a state title. We are off, a fair start here. But in the most competitive state in the nation, that's easier said than done. We'll go behind the scenes to find out, can they take it all the way? As far as district and what we need to do, uh, we're in one of the hardest districts in the state. It's almost like you're at the state meet. Start getting your minds right, okay? Start getting your minds right, district is coming up, okay? Uh, we haven't lost district since I've been here in eight years, been district champs, okay? But as a tradition here at DeSoto, it's always important to be champion. For me, it's just, it's, it's not about a rivalry. Um, I'm sure the girls see it a little bit differently. My rivalries are Dunkerville and Cedar Hill, of course. And every time we race them, it's just like, it's so hype, everybody PR. The crowd atmosphere at District, uh, you're gonna see a lot of, lot of parents talking to other parents. That's my son, oh, that's my baby. You know, and then they may be talking to each other in the stands. I mean, it, it gets pretty intense. Hey, let's go, man, hurdles, let's go. Wait on the heels, wait on the heels. Bring your knees up. Hands up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what you've been missing, baby. Give it your. After Texas Relays, I told the guys, I was pleased, you know. Um, you know, we didn't dominate like we usually do, win first and second and everything. Trevin ran a new PR of 10.52. I, I think he'll get a lot faster. But he, he has some goals set, you know, that he's trying to get accomplished. And, um, you know, he's bringing a lot of attention to himself. So just hopefully we'll keep him healthy and he'll continue to progress throughout the rest of the season. We play second in the four by one. We were hoping to get that first spot, but um, we ran an alternate. Lexus Duncan was out this week. Two weeks before Texas Relays, I started feeling a little something in my hamstring. When you go down to Texas Relays, you really need to be 100% almost. I wanted to race so bad, but it was heartbreak watching my race and I'm not in it. She's a big part of what we need to do. We have district coming up. Uh, that means that everything counts. So how you finish now determines whether you continue to move forward. So it's kind of like football. If you win in the playoffs, you get to play again. You get to live for another week. Same here. If you place in the top four at district, you get to advance to the area. If you run like you did, it takes relays. Y'all will beat these guys. Okay. So nobody think we can do nothing. But I, I know you guys can do it. All you guys run 10 eights and 100. It's, it's do or die now, okay? If you ain't in the top four, you ain't gonna get to go. So we're counting on you guys, okay? So let's finish this thing off. Now everything's gonna start off on y'all, okay? Y'all gonna get, get the atmosphere uh, popping. Duncanville uh, 6A district track meet. I'll tell you guys how important this is going to be today, what you guys are about to do. All right, let's go get some points. Let's do a good job. Here we go. No mercy on three. One, two, three. No mercy. Everything that we've been doing all season, going to all these different meets, TSU relays, uh, Texas relays, Army, all the meets that we want to is practice for this moment, okay, to see if you guys can do things right, okay. And in lane seven, Cameron Jones of Cedar Hill. Mr. Fleming, Mr. Jackson, Mr. Thomas. Show off, man. Alexis Duncan, one of the fastest hurdlers in the nation. She's only run at two meets this year so far due to injury that she got before Texas Relays. 
So this will be her first race back. I'm just ready to like show out, cause like I think people been sleep on me from Texas Relays over there. They probably thought I was hurt, but I'm gonna just show out today. She already ran one of the fastest times in the nation and she's trying to defend her state championship this year. to defend that state title. Next up is the boys 4x400 meter relay and the top team in this section, the DeSoto Eagles, who are currently ranked number three in the United States at three minutes and 13 seconds. DeSoto out well early. That's Terry and Spivey for the Eagles. DeSoto still with a slight edge. It's Spivey gonna hand off to Evan Chambers here and we'll see where they're at. Looks like DeSoto just ahead of Duncanville. Evan Chambers leading the way for DeSoto on the backstretch. This is an event the Eagles have to capitalize on in order to have a shot at winning that boys state title in a few weeks. Duncanville starting to make up some ground. They get the exchange, DeSoto in the lead. Duncanville right on their back. Duncanville hard, taking the lead. DeSoto in second for the first time this race. And on the backstretch, DeSoto sitting tough and it looks like he's trying to inch up on his outside. It's Darren Jackson with a big, big last 100 meters here. And Jackson gonna hand off to the anchor, Cameron Neely, and give DeSoto about a 10 meter lead, a huge close there. 150 to go. Duncanville trying to challenge. DeSoto is gonna win the four by 400 meters here at the district meet. Next up is the boys 100 meters. We're gonna crown the fastest boy in District 8. We're gonna see Trevin Chambers of DeSoto up against Keon Sutton of Midlothian. Chambers running well in the rounds, 10.6 to qualify for this final. They're off, clean start. And no separation yet, 50 meters in, and all of a sudden, Trevin Chambers starting to pull away, dominating the second half of this race. It's gonna be DeSoto's Chambers taking it, and a new PR, 10.47. And your District 86A champion in the women's 100 meter hurdles with a time of 13.41, Alexis Duncan of DeSoto High School. My overall experience for the district track meet was pretty great. To say that I'm coming off an injury and I still PR'd in the 300 hurdles and I'm still bringing my time down in the 100 hurdles. So I'm still getting in the rhythm of everything, but overall, I loved it. Uh, I ran the 200 meter dash. I finally got the PR I wanted, uh, 20.93. I also got the PR I wanted in the 100, a 10.47. So overall, today is a great day. Uh, we won the 4x1, the 4x4 today, 4x2 was second. Uh, so they did a great job. 300 hurdles, 100 hurdles, Alexis Duncan won both of those. She hasn't been feeling herself the last couple weeks. Today she said she felt fast and she showed that out there today. It's a big track town. I'm always excited to see who's going to compete, who's going to step up and do what. I think I kind of ran fast. Good. Uh. Feels like I just left here a few hours ago. It's been a long day. The curve judge said that he stepped on the uh, uh, line three consecutive times, so they disqualified him. <laughs>